All right, what up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Bizmatic, and I'm back with another one for y'all. While I'm out here, I might as well do another growth talk. You feel me? Um, if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. Um, this channel is all about music, everything music, and motivation. I'm I'm trying to find a a, a a way to blend the two together nicely, you feel me? And today, I just want to talk about being stuck and feeling like you can't get unstuck. That's 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 one of the things that's hard to do because our mind play tricks on us, right? A lot of the times when a lot of times when we're going through hardship and we're going through like low points in our lives, we seem to think that it's going to be forever. And me, often, I had to remind myself, like, yo, time is always moving. Nothing is permanent. You feel me? Nothing is permanent. Even this life is temporary. So I had to keep reminding myself that because a lot of times that we feel like we're stuck and we have no options it's really our minds playing tricks on us. It's really us panicking and not taking a deep breath, not really thinking about the situation, not really thinking about I, I'm, I'm in this situation. Whatever situation it may be, let me let me just sit, think, just 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 for a split second. Let me just sit down, relax. I, right. how did I get here? You feel me? Or what are the little things I could do? To help me get out. Because. When you're in a bad situation. And you keep thinking about. More horrible things. You're only going to bring more of that same energy towards you. If that makes sense. You feel me? So let's say. Let's say if your bills ain't paid. And you keep thinking to yourself, damn, my bills ain't paid. How am I going to get out of this? Blah, blah, blah. You're going to keep attracting that because it's all about the words that you're using. It's all about the words that you're using and the way that you're thinking. Because I really believe in the whole subconscious mind shit, in the whole like universal shit, like the whole law of attraction shit. I do believe you do got to watch your words. You do, like, instead, when you're in bad situations, instead of saying, like, yo, my bills ain't paid or whatever, they gonna shut off the lights. I feel like you always gotta reword it. You gotta reword it in a way that you never really acknowledge the horrible side of it. You gotta reword, you gotta reword it in a way that, in a way that, that's gonna make you feel more upbeat. In a way that's gonna make you feel more hopeful. You feel me? Instead of my my bills aren't my bills aren't paid or they're about to cut this off. Um say something like, you know, I got I got money on the way or whatever. I got money on the way. I could take care. You know, just just find ways to to reword it that's going to empower you. You see what I'm saying? Cuz that's what get us stuck because when we're in horrible situations, we always think of the worst. You feel me? We always think of the worst. We never trying to see our way out of it. And that's what makes us feel like we're stuck. It's just, it's crazy. It's crazy how that works. It's crazy how that works. Because I remember there was a point in time where my thinking was just so trash. Like, it was just so trash. I was always thinking of negative shit, bro. And it's like everything that I feared, that I kept on thinking about, all that shit ended up happening to me. All that shit ended up happening to me, bro. I started getting in trouble with the law more. I started getting pulled over more. Started losing my license. Like, just a whole bunch of negative... Just because I just kept on thinking about it. Based on one situation that happened to me, I got so paranoid. That's all I kept on thinking about. And the more I thought about it, the more that shit just kept on coming to me. Kept on coming to me. Instead of trying to find a way to pull myself out of it, you know? Like, rewiring my head, my mind, the way I think, or... Use different words, like watch the conversations that I have with myself, because that's when a lot of the toxic shit happen. 
with the conversations with yourself. You really got to protect yourself from yourself. Because a lot of the times, it's not even the people around us. It's not even, it's not even the situations that we're in. It's really us. It's really the conversations that we're having with ourselves that's fucking us up. That's keeping us stuck in the same position because we're not uplifting ourselves. We're not telling ourselves great things, even in bad situations. Because at the end of the day, no matter what situation you're in, the only thing you really have is the conversation that you have with yourself. That's what's going to alter your mood. You could be in the worst. You could be locked up in prison. You could be in the worst situation. But the the conversation that you have with yourself that's what's more important because at the end of the day that's what alters your mood you see what i'm saying and that's all that matters your state of mind you could be in any situation but if you could talk to yourself and you could train your mind and you could like literally live in your mind when, when you need to you could get out of every situation out of every situation even let's say, let's say if you're locked, if you're locked in prison for the rest of your life, right? A lot of people will feel like, yo, I'm stuck here. But if in your head, you're telling yourself, yo, I'm still free because niggas really can't control what I think of. You really can't. I could take myself anywhere in my head. And that's the biggest freedom right there. That's the biggest freedom. In any situation, that's the biggest freedom to getting unstuck. So now, when I'm in a horrible situation, I just trying to pause before I start going ham on myself, before I start saying, damn, this shit's, yo, it's over, it's a wrap for me. I try to think, I try to think, I, right, how did I get here? I, right. is complaining and fussing about this shit gonna change anything? No, I, right. Let's get that out the way. <laughs> you feel me? That's useless. We don't need that. Is saying negative shit, feeling negative about myself, being down, being depressed, is that going to help the situation? No. All right. Scratch that out the way. All right. What's going to help the situation? Telling myself positive shit, right? I know nobody can think positive all the time, but it's, it's about rewiring, right? At first, when you get in that bad situation... Yes, you're going to think negative thing, but the key is to change that. The key is to try to change that as soon as possible, to not let all that darkness overcome you. That's the key. That's the will. That's, that, that's, that's really the power to life, really. Knowing how to alter your mind. With that shit, you can do anything when you know how to alter your mind. Everything is all about perspective. Everything is all about how you look at it. You feel me? There's a dark side and a bright side to everything. To everything. But, of course, we live in a negative world, so you're always going to find the, the, the dark side first. Like, my brother asked me a question. He was like, <laughs> which, which emotion is more powerful? Or, nah, which emotion is more influential, love or hate? At first, I said love. I still believe that it's love, but now I'm starting to understand a little bit better what the question was, because it's true. When something happened to us, we always go towards the negative side first. And a lot of us, we can't get out of that. We can't get out of that. There's niggas, <laughs> there's niggas, yo, you cut them in traffic. You done fucked up their whole day. They're in that negative mind state all day. They're stuck in that negative mind state. And it's important to learn, to learn how to protect our peace of mind. Because shit that's happening outside the world is going, is always going to happen. Like shit that's happening outside of you, you can't control that. It's always going to happen. It's always going to, what you can't control is yourself and the way that you think about things. And that's the key to getting unstuck. And that's something I had to learn the hard way. Pause. That's something I had to learn the hard way. But... I'm going to keep this short. I don't want to ramble on because I tend to do that. I tend to go around in circles <laughs> when I start to talk. Yeah. So um, just let me know in the comment section below what are the things that you're doing to get unstuck. Um, 
what are some situations that you've been in and you and you felt like yo it ain't even worth it to to feel helpless it ain't even worth it to keep thinking of all this negative shit you feel me life is, life could do that to you so just let me know in the comment section below also what do y'all think about these growth talks should i keep doing them in the car do y'all like um the other way I do them, where I have the camera set up and I'm chopping it, like, just let me know in the comment section below what y'all think. Um, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And that's it, man. That's it. Enjoy the rest of y'all day. It's a beautiful day out here. Make the right decisions. You feel me? And I holla at y'all.